guess he's hallucinating. No, just a uh, new package, I guess. With Doc, I think you're invested in him at the very beginning. The first scene when he you know, throws his hair back and he's like, okay, damn it, I'm gonna get involved in this. Billionaire land developer boyfriend and his wife and her boyfriend in a plot to kidnap the billionaire and throw him in a loony bin. He knows what he's getting into even though he doesn't know anything about what's going on yet. I need your help, Doc. Maybe you should just look the other way. You know you have no case here. So if you're gonna charge him, you bet him. Otherwise, you have to let him go. Mm, Sanj, remember who this is you're talking to? That's Bigfoot Bjornsson, Renaissance cop. It is truly a love-hate. I mean, I, obviously, they need each other and they're using each other. But there's more than that. I mean, he gets off on talking like he talks with Doc. This doesn't have much to do with your specialty, which I understand is marine law. We got plenty of crime on the high seas, Lieutenant. And Doc gets off talking like he talks, but I think more Bigfoot than Doc. Okay, well, so far we have murder and kidnapping. You know, we can work in pirates if it would make you more comfortable. There's an angle of like, it's all coming at you. And I think that um, I've seen the movie twice and and I and I feel that every time I see it, there's I see new things. And those are the, those movies I really respect because they last. You know, and I think that this one is one of those. FBI stuff. They need somebody else on this trip who's not Italian. You dig? Like Howard Hughes when he bought the Desert Inn. Howard Hughes was Italian. I've always been so fascinated about that. You know, the counterculture that was sort of uprising out of that sort of mythical time of the 60s, which we all hear so much about. And I think that this, um, this film explores a time that no one really talks about. Well, maybe you're better off with the Nazi. Are you the great beast? Oh, no, no, that's, 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 a, that's a policeman. You know you're driving without your headlights, ma'am? Oh, but I, I can see in the dark. Perhaps you shouldn't be driving then. I really felt like we were in another era. It, 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 even the attitudes of uh, the police coming up to it. I'm, I'm gonna need to see all your IDs, please. And what is this all about, sir? Any gathering of three or more civilians is now considered a possible cult. What? It's Charlie Manson again? It, it, I think he d really does capture. I remember, you know, there's certain films that it's eras or years can almost be captured. And I think this, you know, he really captures. I actually have a heart attack. I mean, actually, my heart is racing. So it's, yes, you're still sort of awash in that California sunshine, but there's, uh, there's sort of something wicked this way comes kind of feeling. Hey, get you!